Now this video is called WTF Friday and for those of you who are some squares and don't understand what that means code name me can say certain things by YouTube so the first part of this video is about our esteem purses we are speaking about those who drive public passenger vehicle we are talking about taxi man and specifically in this case I am speaking about a minibus man who is in a viral video that is buzzing all over social media so people I want you to take a listen take a look to this video and then I'll give my peace now people in this video we can clearly see where this minibus driver thinks that he is in Hollywood he thinks that he is doing a stunt for a movie or a video game because people we can clearly see where he is taking off the steering wheel of the bus and he is also driving from outside he basically opened the door and was driving from outside and what makes it even worse is that there were some passengers in the bus and they were cheering him on as if he was doing something good he was doing something constructive he was doing something Something positive now people this only shows you the mindset it shows you the mentality of Jamaica how far we have plummeted when we see people cheering on BS we are talking about F U C K R Y because people when you look at the statistics when we listen to the news we are talking about pan radio or pan TV we hear that this person got slapped away or this person D I E D in a A C C I D E N T however it does not change their mindset however it does not change their mentality it is still warped point blank and period and people if you remember as close as last year we are speaking about less than two months ago there were 426 persons that lost their life on the road because of recklessness so people it seems like we don't learn and like them say the definition of insanity is doing the same thing over and over and expecting a different result point blank and period so anyways people that is my views on the whole thing as it pertains to that and like me say it is just my views and opinion it is not the gospel your views and opinion can be respectfully different from mine but let me know what you think in the comment section bless up now before i move to the next part of my video please subscribe to my next channel it is called jamaica dancehall source one word don't put no space between the words jamaica dancehall source now the next thing that is popping in the news is that we see that a 67 year old lady she was slapped away and her name is Letitia Francis and she was taken out in a place called Old Arbor Glades we are speaking about in St. Catherine and based on the purple information it is said at about 11 40 something p.m. in the middle of the night some men roll up in the spot and basically bust up some camp on her and we are speaking about the residents said that they heard some loud e x p l o s i o n s and some men were running from the shop now based on the information that is out there from the residents and also the assumption and speculation of the chairman of the Popo Federation we are speaking about a person whose name is Patrick Rowe he is claiming that this is because of a reprisal of an incident that occurred maybe just over a week ago we are speaking about on the 31st of January 2020 in which a corporal we are speaking about the son of this lady he was A-T-T-A-C-K-E-D by a G-U-N-M-A-N in the area and he basically defended himself and slapped away that person. Now people, based on the information or based on what we are seeing going on, it seems like his combo, it seems like his crony got some information that the person that slapped away their friend was the mother of this person and she had a shop. So therefore they retaliated based on the speculations or based on assumption. Nobody knows for sure. There is no evidence. However, just based upon common sense, we can kind of theorize that that is the reason or based on what the popo is saying. And they are supposed to be experts on this right now based on the information from the popo it is said that on the 31st of january 2020 the son was off duty and he was walking through the community when he was sponsored upon by a man and in basically retaliate and in basically pop off in peace and let off some can and slap away the man 
Now people you have to understand that Jamaica is a very small place and especially when you live in a some small neighborhood where everybody knows everybody, everybody knows everybody basis. So therefore if something went down, we are speaking about back in a January 31st, 2020. Somebody is going to hear that the person that slapped away the person. His mother has a store or has a liquor shop in the neighborhood. So people, it seems like that is a connection. So people, the point that I am trying to make is that you cannot take anything for granted. And we saw that this officer, we are speaking about this corporal, we are speaking about the son of this lady that got slapped away. It seems like he made a fatal error because he thought that because the fact that he is a popo and him slapped away this man and him basically got rid of a nuisance to society, he thought that it was okay and okay dory. However, people like me say, you don't know who is who and you know so the bush have ears and you know so the wall have ears. So people, when you live in a certain communities you cannot be caught slipping because whenever you get caught slipping you are going to pay for it point blank and period and people it seems like this is what happened in this case but people like me say we are just assuming we are just speculating so like I said, people, nobody really knows for sure without a shadow of a doubt. People are only speculating. People are only using common sense based on what happened. We are speaking about the sequence of events. So anyways, people, that is my views on the whole thing as it pertains to that. And like I say, it is just my views and opinion. It is not the gospel. Your views and opinion can be respectfully different from mine. But let me know what you think in the comment section. Bless up. So the next thing that is popping in the news is that we see that a 61 year old man, we are speaking about a person whose name is Norman Thomas. He was S-E-N-T-E-N-C-E-D to life about a couple of days ago and also hard labor in the big yard for basically slapping away his 21 year old girlfriend. We are speaking about maybe about in 2016. Some people are speaking about in excess of three to four years ago. And based on the popo information, it is said that they were said to be in a relationship and something happened. We are speaking about some sort of domestic dispute and then basically get mad and ju juke her up in excess of 20 times and she was basically passed out upon the spot. However, it seems like Judgment Day was the other day and basically plea bargain maybe about two weeks ago. So therefore, he got a 50% reduction on his sentence. So like I said before, he was given life imprisonment with a possibility of parole after 15 years. We are speaking about hard labor. So people, he is now 61 plus 15 if he is eligible at the time when the 15 years come because people, it can also be denied. So therefore, we are speaking about he will be 76 before him even see the light of day again upon the street. And people, we are talking about 15 years in the big yard. It is not like 15 years in the street. We are talking about a different thing. We are talking about the polar opposite. Point blank and period. So now people, when you listen to this and we see that this man is 61 and this lady is 21 or was 21, people we see that there is something wrong we see that there is some red flag we see that something is definitely wrong and people like them say love is blind but love is not deaf and love is not dumb so therefore when you look at a man that is 61 and we look at a woman that is 21 we see that something might be wrong and people don't get it twisted, don't get it misconstrued. I am not saying that it is not possible. I am speaking about the slightest possibility or probability. However, in these days and time, it is hardly likely that you are going to see a 21-year-old woman with a 61-year-old man. People, something wrong. There is something into something. And people, where you see smoke, there is always fire. So therefore, it sounds like some sort of financial agreement. It seems like she was giving him some young pumps and he was taking care of her finances. I am just assuming i don't know i cannot say for sure i was not there so however the point that i am trying to make is that this is a recipe for disaster and people don't get it twisted if you love somebody or love somebody however if you are going to be in love for finances or he is going to be in love for the poems something is not going to work out sooner or later something is going to go wrong because you people are not compatible point blank and period so people we see what happened and we see what has been happening in jamaica over the past few years people People, we are speaking about something that does not work, point blank and period. So anyways, people, that is my views on the whole thing as it pertains to that. And like me say, it is just my views and opinion. It is not the gospel. Your views and opinion can be respectfully different from mine. But let me know what you think in the comment section. Bless up. Now, the last thing that is popping in the news is about an incident that occurred in September of 2019 
in which one little nine-year-old youth he was swept away by some floodwaters in August town and he was missing for four days and he was found in Arborview, basically in a little quarry place in Arborview. Now this person's name is Carl Richards and he attended a primary school in a Kingston. Now people, we are speaking about an incident occurred in September of 2019 and he had his final send off on October, so a month later. However, the thing that stuck out in my mind is when I heard the MP for the place we are speaking about Augustown claim that she is going to make sure that all the drains in Augustown and other places in her constituency was filled or taken care of. So people, we are talking about an incident that happened in September. This little youth was sent off in October. So we are talking about between four to five to six months span. So she claimed that it was such an urgency and she is going to make sure that it was taken care of. It was going to be priority number one and people six or four months later it just taken care of. Now people, I see her celebrating as if it was some groundbreaking moment as if she accomplished something. She basically found a cure for AIDS or something like that, cancer, rate, lele, blue, blah, bling. Now people, we are speaking about a drain that she covered or that she had somebody covered we are speaking about a six by six slab we are speaking about a square and then a little grill in front of it so people we are not speaking about anything that is out of this world we are speaking about something basic so therefore if i was given the mp position for a day i could have found just anybody just a random person in that community to basically build what she built and what she is now celebrating so people the moral of the story is this we see that Jamaicans are reactive they are not proactive and even when they are reactive it takes them forever and a day to do the simplest thing so the moral of the story is this we see that these MP we see that these politicians they are irresponsible they are incompetent now when I think about stuff like this, I don't know if it is because the rainy season is upon us once again or if it is because an election is coming soon. People, what do you think is our priority? Do you think that she is doing this out of the kindness of her heart or do you think that she is doing this just to get elected once again or one more again? So anyway, people, that is my views on the whole thing as it pertains to that. And like me say, it just sounds kind of fishy. However, it is just my views and opinion. It is not the gospel. Your views and opinion can be respected different from mine but let me know what you think in the comment section bless up